open it, and then you've um, got a new spot, a new piece of wood to secure your floor flange to, so that it don't rock and uh, wiggle. Or it, that will be leaking next, because once it wiggles so much, it'll squeeze that wax out of the way, and then it'll go to pouring right there. But that's your main issue right there. I knew something had to be leaking by that calcium deposit right there. All right, so the tub is leaking. The tub, tub is leaking uh, right here. I believe we got a, a corroded brass piece where the washer seals probably gonna find a hole in it, and it's also leaking. You still see it dripping right back here. Bam! Every time the water runs, it goes over this hump and connects to that other elbow to hook to here. So what we do? All right. So you were we're gonna we're gonna you want to replace here's what we're gonna do. we're gonna cut it here. We're gonna get rid of all this black stuff here, and then the whole brass piece is on the tub because right back here also that you're not looking, you can't see where the where the where the heel fitting comes from the tub itself. And hooks to the wasted overflow T right there. There's a brass nut that hooks the brass threads, and that's split. And I'm sure that, um, in other words, uh, you, all right, so you're gonna have to redo the drain, the, the whole and the trap there. That's exactly right. And then the toilet, you want to do the, we, we, we the subfloor. When you take the toilet up, cut the work, cut the rotten wood out, box it out, put new plywood, new floor flange, and connect back on and reset the toilet. All and right, let me get okay, well, give me.